got to the point where he was basically in a quadriplegic state in a matter of four or five days. So, yeah, that was very scary. Everything seemed to go. His speech was a bit slurred for that weekend, and then the next week things went very quickly. Can't run. Can't run. Can't, probably can't ride a bike because of balance. I think it's very significant because it's the second case in the world where there's been extremely severe MS with everything not functioning virtually and then to go through a stem cell and then come out the other end, be it 10 months later, in really good shape. But what we're seeing now is that the patients actually improve after the treatment. See, Ben, for example, couldn't walk at the time of his bone marrow transplant and then about three weeks after his legs started to improve so now that he's he's walking quite normally with just very minor weakness in one leg so the treatment can I presumably provided it's done early enough can reverse neurological deficit which is something fairly new in uh, multiple sclerosis medical staff and nursing staff enough because they gave me my son back it could have been so different. I could have been burying him. And, you know, I didn't really care what state he was in. You know, the possibility could have been just kept being a quadriplegic state and that didn't worry me as long as he was alive. That's all I cared about.